Oh my god, what a day. Okay, you see if I'm okay, man. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, I think the most stressful day I can remember in my life for a long time. I said something exploded. It's a bit of a worry. It's worst nightmare. No. That's it. We're right. officially on our own. We're now stranded. That's my best mate Alexis on the right, and he got us into this mess. We're now stranded on the edge of the Sahara Desert with a broken car that we bought for £100. I don't want to see smug faces of people going, told you we'd make it. For years, we talked about doing an adventure together, but we had no money, no car, and according to our friends, no common sense. It was time to try and prove everybody wrong. Got the keys, got the car. You, me, desert and a bronco, come on. We were making really good progress. It was kind of foreboding that something bad was going to happen. There's no unleaded petrol for miles around. I really don't know how a car's going to react to having a um, different type of petrol in. Four-wheel drive doesn't seem to be working. We've just been pulled over by the police at a halting place again. Whatever can go wrong has gone wrong. Well, big one. F***ing hell! That strap is meant to be holding our gas tank in place. I don't care how picturesque it is, let's just get to the road. Oh my god! This is kind of unexploded landmine territory as well. Just can't get a day without any drama on this trip. The car completely stopped working. You know, even if our car wasn't work, we're going to get there somehow. We're going to get there, no matter how we do it, we're going to get there. 